Hello, everybody. My system, the style key, is all about helping people find their perfect, unique, beautiful personal style by aligning what is your essence with the clothes you wear and the way that you put your clothes together. So that's why I'm really excited for this new series where I show you real person examples of people trying to use the system to work on their personal style. Today, I am meeting the beautiful, wonderful Priscilla, and I'm going to show you our conversation as it happened. And before that, I want to share some of my reflections before I go into the meeting with her. As you know, when I am meeting with a client, I ask them to fill in a form about themselves and I ask them to upload some photos and just tell me a bit about them. So I've received the forum, I've received photos, and I've received the mood board from Priscilla, and I just wanted to show it to you and tell you about my first and general impressions. So Priscilla's told me a bit about her life. She lives in Brazil. She's a person who's very expressive and she likes her style, but she's not quite happy with where it is. And I received a lot of photos of Priscilla in these different outfits, like this gorgeous skirt and top with the bracelet and earrings. See this top again here with the fun bracelet. As you can see in Priscilla's outfits, I am noticing definitely a lot of visual interest, I'm noticing strong visual cohesion. I'm noticing a lot of visual elements that I would describe as sensual or intriguing or elemental. And those, as you know, are all words which are associated with the left in my system. And there's Priscilla looking beautiful. And here's the beautiful mood board that she shared with me. And she wrote the words powerful, earthy, graceful, and mysterious. And I thought this was really fun because to me, Priscilla's style and her essence and presentation matches the mood board that she sent me. So my first impressions upon looking at Priscilla's outfits and on her mood board is like, okay, so she enjoys kind of the left up dressing. She is executing outfits, which I would easily type as left up outfits. I get the sense that for her, the upness is very important, maybe just a bit of leftness. So potentially maybe she's a lady heretic, maybe not. And I'm really excited to meet Priscilla because I do see she has a vision. I think she has good execution. So I want to find out, is the struggle just that there's a lot more that she wants to unleash? Does she need encouragement and support in having a bigger vision for herself? what's going on i'm really really curious and i am so excited to meet her okay so hello everybody i'm here with priscilla and we are gonna get ready to do our gentle guidance moment i'm really grateful to priscilla for volunteering for this if you are too maybe you want to comment below just be encouraging be supportive people really like that <laughs> okay and hi priscilla so do you want to just start us off by telling me a bit about like where you are with your style and what's going on with you right now style wise I've been on my study journey uh, since I think two years ago from now. Um, and I started exploring a true system uh, with essence, like a kitchener tool. Uh, later, I started to explore Kiwi. And these systems were fine uh, to a certain point. Uh, with them, I could uh, come up with a idealized aesthetic uh, and keep helping me with the thing of uh, the body and the, the accommodations, how to get a good fit. Uh, but nowadays my struggle is that uh, my wardrobe is very unfitting for my style goals. I have that vision of what, what I like to achieve but uh, my clothes are completely <laughs> different of this, this aspiration. Uh, I have many clothes uh, because uh, along the years, I didn't change much my body ch shape. So I have lots of old things. I, I have a lot of hand-me-downs too. Many things are very bad quality because I never, uh, had much uh, means to acquire really uh, quality items that are more pricey. So uh, I'm completely disappointed because I have a vision that I want to execute and that I feel unable and stuck because I, I am not able to do that. I've been trying to 
uh, fits this a, a little bit with creativity <laughs> and thinking hard about how to put together the pieces, but I haven't been very successful so, so far. Okay, so what's the vision? The main thing is it, that I want to feel very empowered. Uh, actually, my style journey began because I was in a very low self-esteem phase. So I decided to change that uh, through my image. I thought it was a way of doing that. Uh, but I'm getting the opposite uh, results now because I'm feeling disempowered. And I would like to feel uh, like a person that exudes power. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's a bit of aspirational, but I would like to see the mirror as something that uh, it's not necessarily flashy, uh, not necessarily that thing saying, look at me, <laughs> please, I'm begging your attention. But I want, uh, when people look at me, feel that sense of a well put together person, a polished, the poised uh, with elegance. I think that's my <laughs> aspiration. Beautiful. So you want to exude power. You want to do that by having clothes that are very polished. You want a really put together style. You want there to be something that is just visually impressive, but yes. not necessarily, yeah, like too out there that you feel like you, I feel like you have a very delicate attunement to what is flashy and showing off versus what is like naturally just taking space and kind of impressive yeah yes. that makes sense okay but I, I i totally i totally feel that for you and i think that's a that's a beautiful vision um and can you kind of put your current clothes can you just say more about why you dislike them so much like as you know the outfits you sent me like I'm not, I don't want. I don't mean you have to criticize everything. I just want to know a bit because you obviously are not happy. So I just want to know what is it about them that you feel like? Oh, this is not at all what I want. Okay, I can spend all day criticizing. <laughs> That's no problem. Uh, because uh, as I said, many clothes are very old. So. It's like Priscilla from 15 years ago. Uh, it has nothing to do with me anymore. There are se several hand-me-downs uh, of a person that is completely different from me. That I have a bit of a scarcity mindset, you know. I fear that, oh, I get rid of these uh, clothes and... Uh, I won't have the resources to later to uh, to build uh, outfits in a diversity that I would be satisfied. And many things, uh, uh, as I said, have quality issues uh, or are ill-fitting. Lots of problems. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I that that super much makes sense, and I have very good advice. I'm excited to share, but I also, I like the outfits you sent me. I think you have some, the stuff you shared at, le at least with me. I feel like you have some elements which are really nice. So, or are all of those outfits you sent me, they're like, definitely not. I, what I'm asking is I want to understand yeah, like your experience with the clothes, because I just looked at the photos and I was like, okay, so these are like left up outfits. They look cute. Okay. Like they seem kind of on the theme of the mood board and the vision. So, but I'm super hearing from you that you're like, no, this is like not good. So I want to know about that. No, um, the outfits that I sent are like the best <laughs> what I could uh, think about. Uh, so I'm not totally unsatisfied with them, but 
uh, I think I could do better if I had the right resources, you know? Uh, this outfit I'm wearing now, it's like, <laughs> I wanted to pick like the best that could represent me, but it's an exception. <laughs> I have to recognize that. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, so it's like, there are many things that are not that good, but those outfits are good. That's what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then also, they are good but you want them to be a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then I guess what I wonder is what, like, how do you envision the style key kind of helping you break out of this situation with the scarcity mindset and the worries about getting the clothes? Like what can we do with that? Oh, that's really hard because I've been thinking hard uh, about this uh, for many, many time, uh, for a long time, uh, and I didn't uh, reach any conclusions. <laughs> uh, I tried to do my best alone, and so far uh, I didn't find the answer. I'm very torn uh, regarding about this side. Uh, psyche system uh, about the logic I think if I get right with the uh, logic I will be more confident to adopt it but I'm <laughs> turning between the left uh, side logic the right logic because I I think I fit bo uh, in both in some extent yeah and that's totally normal I think First of all, just like we as humans, I think it's, we can totally relate to the other ways of being, but I think also because I think with your essence, it's like you're more closer to the axis. Um, but still, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so you're saying that you just want to, you haven't quite figured out the quadrant. And so once you figure it out, you think that will help you find the clothes for you and just yeah. to be maybe more confident in the vision? Yes, I think efficiency is a very important word for me. <laughs> efficiency and like in what, how does that look like for you? Well, I think uh, about efficiency in everything <laughs> and the style is not different. So I really want to maximize the impact, the elegance <laughs> of the outfits with the resources I have. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And what are your kind of worries and concerns when it comes to style? I think a very important factor is time <laughs> because um, I think uh, the time is passing. I'm not figuring out. Uh, I'm still. I am still unsatisfied with how I look, and how I present myself, and things <laughs> generally don't get better when you get older. So I'm concerned that I will never be satisfied with my image. That's my main concern. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's, I mean, that is a very challenging feeling. I get you, especially when you have been making the effort and trying to figure things out for a while here. Yeah, that's a heavy challenge. But okay, I'm going to help you. And obviously, uh, 30 minutes together cannot fix everything. But it is very helpful. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so let me first like show a bit where I would put you in the system and then I'll just kind of talk about how to do it, how to use it. Okay. So I put you right here. You're on the left up right there. So I feel like as you can see where I kind of draw you. And this is fun because it's actually really what I expected from your photos and everything. And that's fun. I like when I feel like I'm like a magician when I can predict because <laughs> it's so it's very hard usually to tell anything about people from just photos. But okay. Um 
So what I think like in summary is I think what's really strong for you is the up essence. And then you're kind of like, I understand that you're a little bit ambivalent on the left and the right. And I want to say also that this is like just a very common and typical pattern I see from people who I put here. So you're not alone and you're not having some like weird struggle and it is very standard and normal. Okay, I just want to reassure you that like if you were confused about where am I, what's my style logic, etc. Um, but I can just say as like a introduction point that for the left up quadrant for the amethyst key as you know i am always talking about doing a style that visually represents something about you right the idea isn't just to be extra for the sake of being extra the idea is to be extra in this way that is actually you and this is th what you're talking about, right? There is really no, and I understand that when you're talking to a stranger, it's like there's a lot of things that are unsaid about maybe things that matter and things you think about. But I just wanna point out that when you are talking about your style, there isn't really much discussion about where are you gonna wear these things? Who is like looking at you? How does that really like shape your decisions? What do you want? I feel like you have a very clear, it's not like those factors don't matter at all. Obviously they do because we're part of the society, but I feel like what really is your process already is that you have this theme you want to express about yourself and you wanna make sure that it's seen, right? So in these old clothes, that are hand-me-downs from somebody who's not you, it just doesn't look like you. So it doesn't, it wouldn't even matter if they were really nice clothes, right? They're not, a, you say they're not, but even if they wear nice clothes, if they weren't you, it's not like it would be better really. And then also the clothes with the low quality or just anything you feel is not good enough for you. It's because you want, to have this you know impressive kind of visually curated like style identity so the problem with those clothes again is that they're not kind of showing this part of you who is a person who has very high standards and just really cares a lot about style you know does that make sense to you yes it makes a lot of sense <laughs> I have one doubt, if I can ask. Of uh, course, of course. <laughs> because uh, one of the things I've left uh, that I think it's not so much me is this sensory uh, perception, this need to really get attached to, to the senses. I'm not like very much like that. I'm really very mind, <laughs> you know? So okay. how... It could work for me. I mean, I think that for us as people, for everybody, I think that the body is just a really important messenger of our needs and desires and everything like that. So I think a lot of the time the body can give us really important signals about what we want and what we don't want but and i i also think that for the left dressing because it's really guided by what you want to do and how you want to do it and being yourself i feel like the body can give you really good feedback that you don't need to justify and figure out the logic and I don't know, like you can just kind of trust what the body signals are. So my big advice would be to practice like placing some attention on that and seeing how you can use it as a tool. So for example, when you're talking about um, not exuding the power or the confidence, not feeling elegant, I know that when you wear these like beautiful for you that you don't have the same presence 
and the same posture and the same ability to express yourself, right? It's usually the more stressy, clenchy self in those cases. When you are feeling like, yes, this is me at my beautiful, elegant, powerful self, then comes the openness and the freedom to be. And just like, again, I think this is true for all people, but I especially just really think it can be really nice to practice attuning a bit to this because it's kind of like, you can't argue with it, you know, because why you're holding on to these clothes that you don't like the way they look, you don't like, they're not you, they're not even nice, but you're holding on to them because there's, you know, I need this and there's this story about why and blah, blah, blah. But your body is just telling you straight up, like, no, when I wear this, I feel bad, you know? So if you, you don't need to like make this the main decision maker in your life, but it's just about like turning up the volume <laughs> on what she's saying from like volume one, maybe to like volume three or four to receive the signals and have that be a bit more of your consideration. Does that make sense? Yes. I think it's really something that I have to develop <laughs> give more attention uh, but it's another form of data so <laughs> yeah it can be useful and i think with if like when thinking about efficiency for me um the body signals they can be really efficient because like i said you don't need to try to use a math formula about whether the outfit is good enough or not it's like once you learn what's your yes and what's your no posture it's just there and you know you don't it's it's very quick feedback to you and i think the thing is also like if you're a person who tends to and just for everybody right if you're a person who tends to overthink things maybe um it kind of can it can help like cut through the noise right because again you're like oh I don't like this outfit, but I should like it because it's this and Rita, I am, this is elegant. And, you know, somebody else said this looks elegant on me and I should keep this. But you're just like, no, I hate wearing this. It feels icky and I'm so uncomfortable. You know, <laughs> it just can help you kind of like, like remove some of those more annoying thoughts out of the way. Does that make sense to you? That makes total sense, and I never had a thought about this. Okay. <laughs> it's very helpful. It's very helpful. Okay. But I think for you, as I said, like the main thing you're going to relate to mostly with the style stuff is really like the upness. I think for the lady heretic archetype in general, there's visual inspiration you take. You love a lot of the right up styles and the vibes and the feels like you're very welcome to go there. It's just that ultimately, and I know we skipped ahead a bit, but like ultimately what you need is that your own, that like touch of just something that feels a little bit unexpected, you know, the maybe like the elemental touch or the sensual touch or the intrigue, just something like a little bit of a twist on so you don't feel like overall your outfits are kind of too stuffy and too conventional all the time you know yes. and and in my experience i mean this can look very many different ways because i know celebrities are not people but i like them as examples anyway and i think somebody like um angelina jolie i have her in the lady heretic archetype and if you look her up after this, I mean, she has a lot of very super elegant, very like, I would say even refined outfits, you know, I think a lot of people would think about it that way, but I think she always brings a bit of that like edge to it. Um, so that's like a good example where you don't need to feel like you're trying to kind of perform some sort of very like, I don't know, extreme left version that doesn't feel like you. Does that make sense? Yes. What are you gonna do? To summarize, so I like the left of quadrant for you. Yeah, I put you up there, very up, just a bit to the left. Um, I will give you 
a little bit of advice on the left upness, the amethyst key. Then I will tell you a bit about the archetype and then maybe we, I don't know, we'll see what we want to do after that. Okay. Um, just taking notes for myself. Yeah, and I can give you tips on this, uh, getting rid of the things, because that obviously has to happen, right? It's just needs to happen. Okay, so first of all, so I already said a bit, so for left up amethyst, the important thing is that clothes are supposed to really look like you. And it's like, what are you as a person? You're multidimensional, you have many moods, you have many qualities. So the goal isn't that you need to be capturing all of those qualities. And you know, it's, you have, it's, it's really like meant to be relatively shallow, <laughs> honestly. Because if you think about the majority of people who you encounter, they really only noticing you in a relatively shallow way. So it's kind of like your headline. And then there's a lot of other stuff below, but most people just notice the headline. And I really like this idea. I think you articulated it so well, this kind of um, personal power. I like it, the personal power. And then I think the elegance for you in this being put together and then I also think that there is a bit of this, um, I don't know, like the rawness, maybe the elemental nature. I feel like I like for it not to be too polished. That's, I feel like that's my intuitive feel for you with the essence that I do like when it's, there's a bit of a twist on it. Um, so it's not, yeah, like just all too, too, too perfect. That's the vibe. So I think that's like the visual themes and that's basically just what you, what you want your outfits to look like. And overall, I also think for you, the upness, as I said, is so important. So I feel like for you, uh, looking really put together, looking really impressive and looking kind of like you're better dressed than other people, having this visual drama those are all like really important also because you want to really be taking the space with confidence right yes yeah and so for the upness <laughs> I, one of my favorite analogies for it is that it's like a bubble wrap do you know this with the plastic wrap and it yeah okay so it's kind of like you don't really feel very comfortable going out into the world. So you need to take all the style stuff and it's kind of like a protective little layer for you. So when you have on, you know, your the hair and you have the earrings and you have this top with the detailing, you know, or me with all of my stuff, right? Same, just playing so much things on me. It just helps to be like comfortable <laughs> because it's kind of like really controlling what people perceive about you yeah, yeah. it's very important for me <laughs> yeah and for people who have who don't have this need it's like you can think that they're more like um i don't know, like a fresh flower if you wrap up a flower into the bubble wrap then it will just suffocate that's horrible you know so they don't want all this stuff but you really need the things for the comfort so not only do you want that like elegance and fancy and blah, blah, but you also really need it just to have a lot of stuff on you because it really gives you that feeling of like you're in control, you're in charge of the situation and you are able to really control how people are seeing it, right? So this has to happen. Like it just, for everything you're talking about in terms of like, I don't wanna be stuck. I wanna feel like I'm moving forward. I want to like, you know, be efficient in what I'm doing. This is 80% of everything. So, you know, the outfits you have where you're feeling like this isn't me or it's too simple, it's too boring. It just doesn't work, right? It's like, it's not meeting your very, very basic need. Okay. So, okay, so that's, we agree, that's like the needs and that's how it's gonna happen. And then the problem for you, for a lot of left up people is this like perfectionism basically, right? It's like, if I'm going to do it, it needs to be perfect. And if it's not gonna be perfect, 
I'm not going to do it. And I would rather just have this bad thing because, you know, then I, it's just easier somehow to deal with that. It's like, you already know how to deal with it. So, you know, it's there. Whereas trying and learning new shopping things and figuring things out, it's like, a, it's like a whole new messy thing to get into. So it can be hard. So for a lot of people, they're like, oh yeah, it's just, it's impossible. It's either like everything I like is, you know, custom made Armani couture and, you know, or yeah, it's, it's, I have no time. I never find anything that fits me. Like we, all of those things are true, right? It would be awesome if you had infinite money, infinite time, and like a personal tailor that could make things to you. That would be wonderful. But it's definitely possible for you to make some big steps forward from where you are now, even if like those steps aren't taking you to like the perfect land where you want to go. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> I know, I like, agree. I know you know this. I know, but I'm like, I want to, like, I just, there is no other way. I think that's what I want to just say is like, there is no other way, right? Okay. There is no magical, <laughs> there's just no magical solution except to, like, start taking steps forward. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I would say like for you, there's like two steps that are really easy to do. So one is you should just figure out, you know, I like the outfits you sent me. Uh, you should figure out which outfits you have, which you like already. And, you know, the ones you sent me, maybe some other ones, just kind of figure out what is the best 20% of your closet. And then just wear those things as much as possible even if you need to be repeating things all the time. And I don't know in your social circles, what people expect or whatever, but yeah, <laughs> I would just wear those things as much as possible because that's going to give you more confidence. And like, it just, I don't know. It's just going to make you feel a lot better. That's my number one advice is to spend as much time as possible in like the best 20%. Okay. Um, then the other thing is like, yeah, you have to start getting rid of some stuff. Uh, if you want to get rid of everything, that's awful. That's going to be really challenging for you. And it's probably not going to happen. So why don't you just pick out again, like the worst 10%, like the things that like do not work, will never work, really make you unhappy. You know, you have these like three random t-shirts, right? And they're just there and nothing about them is nice in any way. So I would just get rid of those, you know, and it's so you don't need to be getting rid of all the stuff, but just, just those three things, whatever, just, okay. like commit to that and again getting rid of them from this perspective of like this isn't me and it's never going to be me because it's basically like incompatible with the thing i am trying to do because if it's like a really cutesy little dress that's just super sweet or something that's some things like that <laughs> yes no matter how you style it, you it's literally just the opposite of being powerful and elegant and put together. So you it's can't <laughs> yeah, so you can't fix it by like, oh, I, I got accessories. It's like the thing in itself is just completely opposite from where you want to go. So I think just start with those things that are just the most obvious, like never going to work. You know, maybe... If you have these pants and you don't like them and they're not comfortable, but your brain is like, okay, but what if I had X, Y, and Z? Like, okay, those can stay for right now, but they're like really, really wrong few pieces. They're just gonna go. Okay, and I think I'm like recommending this because I also feel like it's a big, I don't know, psychological relief to say, like, I trust myself. I know that these things aren't me and I would rather 
wear the same stuff all the time <laughs> than have to wear these awful things that are just not me at all. You know, I feel like it's a really good way to create the sense of safety and I don't know, that you're taking your side and you're taking your needs seriously. Does that make sense to you? So what do you think so far? I think uh, you're right with everything. I kind of expected <laughs> some things uh, because it's really obvious that I can't uh, lean on these other things <laughs> and expect that uh, I will make magic uh, to make it work for me. And it, it really takes some courage, uh, I think. It's a courage that I, so far, uh, I couldn't get it, but I needed someone to tell me, <laughs> to open my eyes. So that's the way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Actually, I have a plastic bag with <laughs> some of these items already that I selected. No, these are the worst of the worst. <laughs> but so far, I didn't have the courage to get rid of this. <laughs> it's hard so, yeah, it's not easy i understand that yeah deep down i know but i so far <laughs> i have some resistance but that's why it's so good to have this time together because it's not like i'm just like oh priscilla you have to do this it's more that like together we can see we can like make it feel so obvious to you that you know part of the thing is that you have this super clear vision of what you actually want in terms of like the, like, I don't know, I felt that very energetically from the stuff you sent, not just from the mood board, but I don't, I just like really, that was my feeling. I was like, this woman knows the, what she wants. Um, but there's kind of this other part of you where you're like, no, I don't know. Like, oh, I can't have that thing, you know, and it's just kind of like coming up with all these reasons why you can't move in that direction. So it's like, you just have to move this distractions away and then you're like, you will be on the way, you know, <laughs> like, so does that make sense? It's just kind of a bit of a tricky problem you're dealing with where there's this, you're like really pr pressing on the brakes and you just really, whatever you can do to like release the brakes is the best work you can do right now and from there like actually moving forward is going to feel so much easier than you expect um at least that's what i feel with my rita intuitive feels i don't know <laughs> you're like okay sure rita but that's how i feel at least so that's my my main tips for you but just to take yeah, to, to take definitely the small steps forward and in terms of the drama and the glamour and the extra make it really concrete for yourself right so when you do have these outfits you like i want you to look in the mirror look in the photo whatever and be like okay where is this drama where is the mystery where is this intimidating whatever you want so it's like literally what is it that makes it in the outfit right so you want to be like okay like for example i really like the word extra that's like my word it's so me so then it's like okay well this jacket is very extra i feel so it's like it's like the most extra jacket i've ever had and i'm very pleased with it but it's like and that stuff here and have the rings and, have, oh, and it's like so there's literally all of these things i can point to in the outfit where i'm like oh yeah that's like extra or it's like if I'm looking for dreamy, right? I'm like, oh yeah, this is a very dreamy print because it's little swirly little roses. Um, so I want you to also like move out of the conceptual domain and into this like literal physical part. So if you're looking at the outfit and you can't find what's the up thing, then you need to put on something that's gonna be the up thing, <laughs> okay? Yeah, and that's uh, that's like, I think this is like all you need to do really right now to like take the next step. You know, this, as I said, it's not about solving all of the style questions you've ever had, but for sure, if you start letting go, if you wear the stuff you love as much as possible, 
and you really pay attention to how can you give yourself just that extra boost, you it's going to go really, really good. Okay. Okay. Do you have any more like questions here or anything you would like for me just to tell you about or anything? I would like to give, uh, give a summary of the keywords that I could be thinking when doing my decision making. Okay, let me look at my paper. I think like the obvious kind of keyword combination for, for you, for me, is like sensual and intimidating. So I like, in terms of the sensuality, um, I just think it's nice for you to have things that maybe like following the shape of your body. I don't mean you need to be like super tight, but I like when you can kind of, when it, your figure is a part of the outfit. Does that make sense? I don't want you to feel like you have to be like showy in this unpleasant way, but I want your shape to be a part of the look. And also like anything that has kind of moving elements, right? Like maybe a flowy fabric, this texture. I mean, I like, this is like really pretty. I feel because it shows the shoulders and the con like the color contrast between the skin and the top is so nice, right? So just kind of like, I'm thinking of the words like movement, flow, like sleek lines. Um, like also, I loved how you wore the bracelet on your arm. I felt like that really, like that was very sensual to me, how it kind of wrapped around. Um, I like that. You also like any shoes I would like for you, those like the, you know, like the wrappy shoes of any kind, like the, the tie up shoes would be nice. Like for sure you could do like, like the skirt, like it has like a slit or something and doesn't have to be the super high slit, but just that like, ooh la la, you know, moment for your leg. This is me, this is your leg. It's like in and out, you know, that's very drama. Um, I'm really like imagining you in one of those dresses where it's kind of like, you know, it has at the waist and then the skirt is kind of like shoom. And, and then there's a slit, that's you, that's cute. But also like jackets, I, I think, I don't, I don't know exactly about, cause you know, Northeastern Brazil, I don't know your climate, but like light jacket that's a bit like tailored and it's kind of like, you know, a little bit elegant. I feel like that could be a really nice layering piece for you again, just to like, kind of like, hugging the shape while not necessarily like presenting it yeah and jewelry of any kind is super nice um because it brings just a i think it's you have a really nice sensual essence so i feel like kind of brings attention to the different parts um i think also connecting a bit with what feels sensual to you right so yeah like fabrics is there any that feel like they're like fun playful physical nice sexy uh, maybe scent is there like a lotion you like or perfume that's not visual but it's like the feeling you know i like the dangly earrings sorry okay so i just have like a billion ideas but that's i think because the word is really good for you and what did i say intimidating yeah well i think intimidating is that power thing you want um and i think for you definitely um like color or like light on light can be really like boom um like a way kind of to take space uh again like with shoes i would do something that's like maybe like a little heel or like just to see that's you you know um i could do like i don't know how you do about the, the sunglasses but that's good to so like you know people can't see your eyes so it's like mysterious intimidating um but for you i really think the intimidating essence is a lot in the poise and the confidence so it's like when you just do the outfits that are put together, you're going to like, you're going to have it. And I mean, and not intimidating in a bad way, like children are frightened of you. Just more like, like I'm here, I'm Priscilla. You know, it's like, and people are like, oh, got to be careful. <laughs> watch, watch what I do. Watch what I say. You know, that's like really fun for you. I think the flex, the energetic flex, that's what we want for sure. That's my goal, actually. Yeah, but you guys do it if, as i said just the foot needs to come off the brake pedal the rest is just gonna it's gonna be so smooth compared to what you think it is because the goal as i said is always not to like okay i'm gonna fix my wardrobe and it's gonna be perfect because i talked with rita but it really is like okay so if i was gonna get something new that's like a, one new thing that's really cool and sensual it makes me just oh like feel so good what could I get? You know, maybe it takes you two months to find that thing, but then you have it and it's a big step forward. 
you know, because you didn't have it before. And <laughs> okay, so kind of let go a bit on the demands on how fast you should go with the style progress. Because it's like a plant, you know, in the first, it's like growing so slowly, and then suddenly it's like, shoom. <laughs> I think that's you with your style. It's like you have you're in the tender, gentle stage right now. Okay. It's so nice to, <laughs> to hear. I'm really, okay. really happy. <laughs> um, this perspective. <laughs> I just want to say thank you again, like for you know being here and sharing like your thoughts and feelings and everything with everybody like on just behalf of everybody I feel like it's really nice and I really appreciate it yeah okay so, so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop the recording but not gonna stop us yet so that's it that's my conversation Priscilla and thank you so much for being here Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please comment below. It really helps and it's very nice for the people in the videos to see that they've been seen and enjoyed. And if you like this type of video, I have another video with a real life person example with Gillian, who is representing the Write Up Quadrant. And I'm going to link it right here for your enjoyment. Take care and see you next time.